all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they give us back-to-back -back updates on how things they be or how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast too all right, my wonderful people, the latest one with the buzz brains at the moment. Be say, yes, sir. I see the hot weather now, so we go to give them straight to Una back to back. I say, it don't buzz for Maryland, Lagos. I say, yes, Lagos government has also done it again. Igbo's lands uh, and properties and business. What billions in Maryland has been demolished and taken to the ground? My people, uh, if you think about these things, uh, you would start uh, um, wishing or start thinking and, and start pitying the emos that keep um, falling prey to all these things we talk about it we keep saying it when you go to the this especially these parts like lagos they never wish you well every single thing you do there is at the risk of being destroyed but then emos do not hear the only thing they want to hear is uh, they want to do is to go to a place where they would uh, instantly boom you would instantly get there and then maybe business starts going well and then it gets destroyed. All for what? It's not better to go to a place where you can instantly also have business and then you have protection too. And you have you'll be sure that nobody's destroying your land, destroying your property. That is the issue with Igbos. At this particular point, goods and properties and properties what billions of naira have been destroyed once again in maryland lagos Igbo people's own no not be seen on any other set of people Igbo people's own and i people i remind i believe you me is a target solely on solely on Igbos, and it should only be on Igbos because of the fact that Igbos are doing much better and are progressing more my people, it was know the business well and will be able to actually sell wherever they find themselves. And that is one thing that these people are not happy about. They are looking at the Igbos and they, are, they see competition. And the main thing is that the kind of competition, they are afraid they've already lost. It's not they are afraid. They know they've already lost it. That is why they would always look for ways to do a whole lot of things. The shops also give them, get them scared to the extent that they would, be, they would think or they would feel that... The more Igbo businesses keep expanding and keep progressing, will make them harder to destroy. And that's the truth of the matter. And that's why after some time, maybe after some months, in, in one month or in two, should I say in up to four months or five months, they'll destroy. In the next five months again, they'll find a place and destroy because they're looking for ways to demolish Igbo businesses. They're looking for ways to bring us down. They're looking for ways to not to reduce the empowered people in Igbo land that will be able to sponsor anything that is happening. My people, this is their aim. Nothing, uh, nothing more, nothing less. They are not in support of us. They are not in support of anything that you are doing or that anything that uh, any of us want to even put our heads into. They are not there and they will never be there. Nothing we do would actually satisfy this set of people because they are not interested in us. They are not happy with us. They are not happy with our progress. The only thing they would want to keep exploiting is our minerals and our resources, which they've already been extracting. And that is one of the core reasons why they do not even want to let us go. Because I do not understand why you would hold, you have a set of people within you. You do not love them. You do not like them. You do not even want to stay with them. But you keep dragging to be in one particular country with them just for nothing. Of course, you cannot say that they, they, are, they are holding them down. They are holding us down just for nothing. The main reason, the main core reason is because, of course, it's because of the fact that things are things would surely get out of hand when the, when when the time reaches and then there is full time division in the land they know how far that uh, we Igbos will be able to go they know how distinct how how rugged we are and how successful we can be and that's the truth of the matter nobody i believe nobody is is is, is on the level of understanding every single thing that is going on at the moment and that is why the movement is one of the most important things that is going on at the moment and we can't i would repeat we cannot be stopped the ideology we have the 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 pace we've decided to pick on this particular matter on everything that concerns the biafra movement or the biafra referendum is something that we look forward to day and night and the fact that the uh, people are looking for ways to bring us down shows us that we are in the right track and we are not going to stop 
That is just one thing. The PM has assured us and every other single thing we've been seeing, every single sign we have seen is towards the fact that you see this particular path, that is the path to take and then that we are going to keep doing one way or another in the situation that Nigeria found himself right now. Because the Biafra zones, the Biafra, the, the Biafra land that we are in at this particular point is a place that needs to be safeguard, safeguarded fully. It needs people that would actually take care of it at this particular point. And uh, we cannot let the Biafra land be led to, 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 to be led bare for these people to come and prowl into it for full and knees to wake up and just enter into our land and do whatever it is they want. Because of course that is what these people would always want. That is what uh, Hopo Zodima have led these these people to enter into Oweri, Imo states or wherever it is in Oweri, in Imo state, to do whatever it is they want just because they claim in quotes they are trying to accommodate them. What have happened to the rest of their states over there? It's not enough for them. They are coming over here to do some kind of things they wish. My people, it is not it is not a an accommodating system. It is a way to use and encroach into our land and take over the land. Go to Douglas in a way. The news that we are getting right now is that during their 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 once it happens that it's on Friday and it's time for the atmosphere. You cannot go through, you cannot go on the road on Douglas. The Douglas Road, that is what we are getting at this particular point. You cannot cross because they are all on the road and that place is blocked. Cars do not go through. This is more than an encroachment. This is a takeover they are trying to do in our state. And this is not going to work out. And that is why the Biafra Liberation Army has been sent. If these people make a move against our people, they will collect it out of In fact, at this particular point, we are not waiting. The situation of things now have brought it up to the extent, the range that we do not care if they have done anything. The main thing is that they are not going to succeed in whatever they want to do. And so they are going to be brought down, hit down at any point in time because the, the things they are involved in or their plans is very hideous for Biafra and it's very hideous for Ndibo. And at this particular point, I'm trying to let you know that the most important thing for you to do is to do your own part wherever you find yourself as an evil person. For you, as someone that is maybe in, in, in support of the movement or in support of everything that we hold dear in our land, as we all know that PM Simon Network is working on his own part. Yes, that is the truth. As he is currently in Canada now to work on the, 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 the Biafra referendum, the Biafra convention also, that is taking place here, which would make one of the biggest steps we've ever made ever since, as he's going to hold in, in Canada. And people, it is not any different from the most, one of the most important things that, that needs to be done. It's one of the big steps we are taking to become better than these people in every sector, in every way. The fact that we brought up our own digital coin, our own currency, is also a big step so that we do not have to, when we have finally gotten this Biafra nation, we do not have to wait. There is nothing like ah we are lacking in this system. Once it comes, the the, the 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 currency is there already for us to pick up and leave. Every single thing is laid in place. If they come up and say, what are the things that are laid in place if your nation is given this if your this division is being done now? Everything will be placed on the table and they will see that this particular set of people are ready. People keep acting these things are being done. Not these are the reasons why these things are being done. Enough of the dialogue. Dialogue has been done a whole lot of time. Dialogue has been born by a, a map power for them. And they've been, 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 been it's, it's been like a child's play for them. Because of course the government would keep talking to them and keep turning them around. In fact, it's not maybe keep, it's what they keep doing to them. They keep turning them around like they are kids. And they, at the end, there is no progress or whatsoever that these people actually have concerning the whole situation of the country. No progress at all. And if you're not getting any progress from this sort of thing, it means you need to change strategy. And that is what the PM have come to do. That is what the PM entered this whole situation with, a new strategy. We are not going with dialogue again. We are going with violence, giving people back to back. After giving people back to back, we're still making moves internationally to make sure that we are securing our places at the right places to make sure that when the time comes, we will not be caught slacking. We will not be caught slacking at all, at all, at all. We cannot be caught slacking. We know the zones that are the Biafra zones and how it will be divided. These people are not interested in anything. They do not want to let us go. And they, them keeping us in, in Nigeria, they want to keep oppressing Ndigo, oppressing the youths. 
keeping them down, pinning them down, without wanting anything that would that would uh, uh, look into the progress of Ndibo. And that is very bad. And that is why these steps are being taken day and night. Also, that is it. Yes, my people, this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.